we are in a well-documented freedom recession. This has been documented by, documented by Freedom House itself in its various reports. We're in the Russian enthusiasm that came from the collapse of the Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War have dissipated. The Chinese model is often held up as the one to follow. But that model allows no room for the universal freedoms that many of us take for granted. Those freedoms are what we are here in this room striving to bring about to people of everywhere. The right to choose, the right to speak out, the right to practice their religion or no religion at all, to associate, free press, civil society, all the things that constitute a democratic society. And these are universal values. These are not American values. These are universal values that every person around the world has a right to experience. Now, during your visit here in Washington, our guests from Southeast Asia have had the opportunity to interact with counterparts from Latin America and the OAS Inter-American Commission on Human Rights, and we welcome these opportunities to bring together activists and defenders from different parts of the world. For we have best practices to learn from each other, and we also have mistakes to learn from each other, and it's important that we sit down and, and communicate even though we have to recognize that each country and each region is unique and different. There's no cookie cutter approach to advancing democracy and human rights, but there are universal fundamental values that are important to promote everywhere in the world. And that is why we support uh, and look forward to cooperation with ASEAN's Intergovernmental Commission on Human Rights which was created in late 2009, and why it's so important to provide a forum for civil society activists and human rights defenders to engage with policymakers. And we've seen this happen in other parts of the world. I've seen it personally in the Middle East with the Forum for the Future, which provided an opportunity for human rights activists and civil society representatives to work with and meet with and even challenge government representatives from their region. We recognize that there are security and economic interests that our countries may have with your countries. But we also need to recognize that democracy and human rights issues are equally important. And it is like a three-legged stool whereby security and economic interests can certainly be pursued, but if democracy and human rights are short when it comes to the three-legged stool, that stool eventually is going to topple over. And we need to make sure that democracy and human rights are not given short shrift and that they are paid due and equal attention. We need to stand up for those in Burma while the junta in that country performs a farce of an election coming up uh, later this week, finding new ways to try to stay in power. We need to support North Koreans suffering under one of the world's most repressive regimes. We need to embolden activists in places like Cambodia in Vietnam and Laos so that people there can enjoy full freedoms too. And we need to bolster nascent democracies in the region to prevent backsliding and make them the true model for all of us to follow. So thank you very much for the opportunity to be here and I look forward to the thank discussion. You.